face. It's your girl Joy back with another banger. It was on my heart. I hope you guys are doing well. It's the beginning of the week. I didn't get a chance, and I have my windshield wipers going if you hear that noise. I didn't get a chance to do any of the necessary things. I work on Sundays. That's like when my day starts. That's when my week starts with school. I don't know, I just get my life on Sundays and not Saturday. I just take Saturday for myself. And so I, I had a whole bunch of ideas in my head. I'm still gonna try to do them, but I didn't get a chance to do them because I started Bobby's hair. Sunday really isn't a good day for hair because that's when I'm coming up with ideas for my lesson. And some people can't work like that. They want their lessons prepared well in advance. But the way my brain works, it's like, it's weird. It's like a machine. It's always going, oh, my, my uh, camera stand thing is trying to come up, y'all. And I know I'm not going to have time when I get to school. So I just want to chit chat with you guys now. But I, I know I've talked about this before. I'm not sure if you remember. I don't know what to do. Well, maybe there's nothing for me to do and let life just take its course. And when you try to tell your children that every friend is not your friend, you know, they ought to be an associate. You may have a good time with them here and there. But if you have at least two, one, two good friends, in your lifetime that's a die-hard friend then you're ahead of the game but I think when there are like 20 30 people in your clique not everybody is your die-hard friend they're associates they're acquaintances you hang out here and there so I think Sydney is that confused and she gets in her feelings when she's not invited to things so when she came and we've had this conversation before oh don't worry about my top hat uh, I, I decided to be a character on my way out the door this morning see that's how my brain works <laughs> so when she came home from bible study yesterday i noticed you know how you know your child i noticed she was she had been crying and i was like why were you crying she was like, I worship. I was like, you cry at worship all the time? She was like, sometimes. I was like, so why were you crying though? What were you crying for? You know, like, if it was like, praise God, I'm happy, I love Jesus. You know, I don't know. <laughs> and then she was like, well, you know, all my friends, my friends, um, they hung out. Cause I noticed she was home on Saturday. She was home on Saturday and that's rare for her. And she was like, they all hung out and I wasn't invited. And I was like, well, do you think maybe they just forgot and they were in the moment? She was like, no, these are my good friends. If these are your good friends, you would have never been left out the click. I mean, I used to do events a lot, a lot, lot, lot. And I didn't leave any of my, my friends off my list i invited all my friends i invited people i just met so then it starts the thing if this is happening quite often maybe it's time to reflect on you you know because <laughs> we've been down this road a couple of times you know what i'm saying so i'm like maybe you need to look at yourself and then sometimes um friends tend to shy away when you um, are very religious or you may come off like mm, you're doing that so I don't know if she comes off like that like mm, that's not Christian like so I, I don't know so at this point I think she needs to take a look at herself and the other part of it I don't know I, I really don't know she is the only brown skin girl <laughs> let me say let me add something else to that <laughs> let me add another adjective she is only the struggling brown skin girl <laughs> she's not driving an Audi so or BMW <laughs> so anyway I'm not sure if it's that 
but honestly I don't know what to say and just think you have the mentality of a teenager they want to be involved they want to be accepted they want to be part of the group and the clique and you know have fun so it's either I don't know it could be it could be it could be a color thing it could be a financial thing it could be um they just don't like you thing it could be she got a nasty attitude thing i don't know and it just hurts when you see your child hurt and she said then i was like sydney everybody is not your friend she was like see mom i knew you were gonna say that that's why i don't want to tell you and see she doesn't want to hear the truth she doesn't want to hear the reality so at this point honestly i don't know <laughs> i don't know what to say or do or just mind my business i really don't know and then bobby i'm trying to braid her hair knowing i got lesson plans to work on and so on and so I am not prepared today at all but I knew I was wearing his hat <laughs> I knew deep down inside there was a character deep within my soul <laughs> so I went in the garage I was like I know I got a top hat then as I was leaving I was like dang it I got a cape too I don't know what a cape is I knew for sure I was gonna be somebody today because I need an escape from my reality. That's what it is. I need that escape from my reality. That's what it is. Probably I knew deep down inside I had to have one of my personalities, a different personality come out. That's what it was. It's gonna be okay. They're gonna be okay. Because once they embark on college and so on and so forth, it's gonna be a whole new world. But with Bobby, I worry. And I know guys, don't don't come for me for this. I, I, well, I said to her, I said, maybe I crippled you in Sydney by doing your hair. They don't know how to do their own hair. Sydney is getting there. She, she can't wash and blow dry, but, you know, she's not going to do the chemical process. I do that. She doesn't want to go natural. When she's ready to make that transition, she will, but I doubt it. Um, no time soon. Bobby, she's natural. But I feel like you're 18 now. I can't believe she's 18. You gotta learn how to do something with your own hair. And I told her, I said, maybe I maybe it's my fault I crippled you girls. And then she's she's sweet. She was like, no mom, what you've done, you saved thousands and thousands of dollars by doing our hair all these years. So look at it like that. And she says, No worries, I'll be seven hours away from you soon. <laughs> but you know. Maybe she'll come home when she needs a hairdo. Maybe I'll love seeing her then. Okay, we're going lower and lower, guys. She gonna fall. So, help me out. Leave it in the comment section below. Aunties and uncles and cousins. How we gonna help Sydney? And I don't mind talking about this because my kids don't watch my vlogs. Nah, they're over it. <laughs> and so... I don't know what to do it's just and just think remember she's not an adult so you gotta think her mentality she still wants to fit in and be part of the group she's not a follower she's not she's not a follower but you know she just wants to be part of her party I mean I would feel that way if I'm close with or if I think I'm close to someone and I'm not getting invited I have friends who don't invite me to stuff but it is what it is. I sweat it. Help me help her. It's like when you know something, it's almost almost like she doesn't want to know the truth. Does that make sense? She doesn't want to know the truth. So I don't know. Do I just mind my business and let her learn? But it just makes me sad that she feels that way. But Sometimes when you have this problem consistently, and I've said this to her before, maybe it's time for you to reflect on you. And then she has told me before, sometimes her friends don't want to see certain things around her. So I don't know. I don't 
want to play the race card, but you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. Or the financial card. I, I don't know. So any advice you have, please leave it in the comment section below. Because this one, my nerves are bad. Then with Bobby, I just feel as though at Bobby team, you should know how to do, you, you should know how to get by with your hair. Then I had to stop. I was trying to get to school early today. Then I saw she was stressing out, which then stressed me out, but I had to stay calm. Ooh, on the inside, I was like, Argh! and I was like, okay, don't worry about it. We'll work it out. We'll work it out, sweetheart. We'll work it out. So <laughs> that's why, but I could feel my anxiety because I, I was trying to get to school early. She was freaking out, and I didn't want, I wanted to calm her down. And I said, just calm down. We'll work. I'm not going to school. I'm just not going to school. And it's weird how certain experiences can bring up memories from your past because my sister decided not to go to school because she said she didn't have anything to wear and she dropped out of school in the 12th grade. And I don't know, it's weird how this memory just popped in my head. Her saying, I'm not going to school. It reminded me of my sister and how absurd it was for her to say she's not going to school because she doesn't have anything to wear. And then when Bobby's like, I'm not going to school because your hair, your hair is not the way you want it. Ain't nobody stunting your hair but you. I don't know, they may cap one and all that. They, they might. But not going to school because of some hair was not an option. You just don't say I'm not going because of this or because I don't got no, no, no nice shoes or not. I don't think so. You better get your butt ready and go to school. Who you think you are? Uh-uh. Like, you don't tell me you're not going to school for some hair or outfit. You don't like your outfit. No, she never said that about the outfit. But the hair, I was like, mm-mm. We'll work it out. I could take a few minutes. Thank God I was a little earlier today. But what I do know, I'm going to be a character today. I got to figure out which voice I'm going to use. <laughs> I'm the greatest in the world. And I'm going to make you the greatest in the world. <laughs> No matter what I'm going through, it's not going to take away my silly. Because, <laughs> you know, my students, they're, they're my audience. They're my audience. So, they're not taking my silly away. All right, guys. Um, give this video a thumbs up or not. And like, comment, share, and have a good day. Because it's really up to you how your day, how you decide your day is going to be. You know? It really is. So, take it one day at a time. And I know sometimes we going through stuff, but... This too shall pass and we'll get through it.